What's up, y'all? This is Hussein Nasser from IGM3, where we discuss software engineering by example. And this is our software engineering talk, where we pick a topic and casually talk about it. All right, so a software topic, not any topic, right? Well, maybe. Huh? Well, we're not sure. We'll see how it goes. All right, so uh, today's topic is uh, how to become a better software engineer, right? So, uh, if you are here to look for a secret uh, book or like recipe or, or some magical thing, right, to become a better software developer, programming or or or, or the v programming language that will make you the best in the world, you're in the wrong place, right? Actually, you'll never find this thing. Right? So the secret to be a better software developers better software engineer right is there's no secret you only have to write more software okay I know sounds easy but it's not right because here are the resistance that we face as software developers or software engineers right we we want to build an application right or we want to build something Okay, like we want to start anything, right? And we want to learn a new programming language, or I want to build uh, something, right? And I Google, and I found that someone has already done this, right? And I get depressed, right? Because ah, oh, someone already done it. I'm not gonna do it, right? And uh, I'm just gonna use that or whatever, right? So, and that will stop us from doing the thing we want to do right just just by actually looking and comparing ourselves to other software engineers or other people in general that is stops the momentum of our gradual uh, progress to become a better software engineer or better software developers right so the only thing that we have to do is is sit down pick a language any language works right don't search on the internet best languages to learn for 2018 right all these are clickbaits right there are, you can pick any language and you can start working on it and you can achieve the thing you want to do there are some very minor thing between differences between programming languages and they can achieve but if you're starting up if you're starting to learn something these don't make any difference to you. You can pick any language, right? Don't just follow mainstream things, right? So go pick a language, JavaScript, right? Python, right? Ruby, right? PHP, anything, and then build, build a software, build something, right? Build another calculator. There are hundreds of those, I know, but build yours, right? Don't look at any examples. Try to build it from scratch, right? Write more software. Build a, a game, right? Build a Tetris game. Build, I don't know what you call the snake and letters, right? Try to build it, right? Don't Google and look at GitHub and download the code and just look at it, right? You just killed the purpose, right? Just go and you can, after that, you can improve on someone else's code. That is absolutely fine that's the, the that's the movement of open source right to begin with so you can build on something but you right if you want to build something you have to start from the beginning the basics right you can always look forward and it says okay i want to build this big application and you can start building it right you build the next instagram today try to build instagram right or build facebook Build YouTube, right? It's very hard, but if you start, you will be empathetic to uh, to to the programmers and the developers of these uh, platforms, and you're gonna start learning so many things. Write, just try to sit down and write software, right? When I was uh, when I learned programming, when I was fifteen, I think, right? What I I didn't know that I like programming, right? I saw my uncle 
uh, writing a bunch of code. So I saw, I told him, what, what is this? What are you, what are you doing? He says, this is Visual Basic 5. Right? I saw, well, what is this? Uh, so he explained it to me as 15 years old, you know. I just said, uh, uh, this is, uh, you will, uh, you basically tell the computer what you want to do and it does it for you. I was like, whoa. I was like, the first thing I could, can I make it play Street Fighter for me? Like, because I am obsessed with gaming, I, obviously. So it's like, that's the first thing. Can I make a game like that? He says, yeah, sure. You can do whatever you want. And he gave me this book, right? I'm going to reference it here. Uh, Learning Visual Basic 2, right? Not 5, 2. Visual Basic 2 was built on Windows 3.1 back, back then. And then I started, I had Visual Basic 5 installed. He gave me that software and a CD. Was it a desk? I don't know. If it, I don't remember. I'm not that old, guys. So he gave me that, and I started learning the book. And, and, and the book was, I was so lucky that the book was really good. It teaches the programming by example. So this guy, John Socha, I think, uh, the author, right? Uh, he, he wrote the book in a way that he starts with an example. Oh, hey, guys, we're going to build a clock. And, and he actually, we built a clock at the end of the the, uh, the ch I think three chapters. We started building applications in the book, and I was really, really fe uh, feeling. I don't know what I feel right now. It's just like you know what I want to build more of those, and I had all these ideas. So, and I was obsessed of Pokemon back then, right? So, I started building like Pokemon games and two like two applications like how to fight pokemon like collecting things i built a calculator i built anything that i had in mind anything that i can automate i did it right i did all sorts of things i just sit down and code right and people say why are you doing this 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 thing already exists right i would i would write code i would i, I would do it wrong right i would i was all about making mistakes just doing things the wrong way right just because i did it this way and then i look at other people code and i learn from it oh oh this is a better way of doing things right but you would never know that this is a better way if you didn't if you didn't write it yourself you have to write yourself just write software write i don't care fart software i don't know do you click farts i don't know do, does do anything right build Stupid software, build silly software, just build software. If you want to be a better one, better software engineer, just build more software, right? And everybody say it, right? If you, if you want to wanna be better soccer player or football player or basketball player, you don't read books, right, on, on, on basketball or football, soccer, right, or tennis, right? You actually wake up train all day right and then do it do it again the next day and do it again the next day right until you train your memory that oh i am becoming better and better and then you start thinking about little things that makes you this better slightly better than the rest of the software engineers like okay if I do this loop this way, I am going to consume this much CPU and this much memory versus if I do it this way, then I'm going to uh, save this much memory and I get more, less memory leaks, for example. And you can start thinking about, the, about these things. If you build more software that talks to the database, if you, talk to, if you build so, more software to talk to multiple databases, then you have more knowledge of different databases. And that makes you a better software engineer at the back end, right? If you build more software on the front end, like an iOS and Android and, and web, right? You will become better and better and better. So that being said, you can also focus on a niche, right? I am going to be the best software engineer in iOS development. You can, you can be that, right? You can pick that, right? If you really like it, you can pick that and just dive deep Deep, right? You know, just like uh, as as Gary Vaynerchuk say, right? So like, uh, you can uh, instead of being, uh, I forgot that. 
<laughs> but in a nutshell, it's like you have to focus on one thing and instead of being uh, pregnant on nine, I think that's what he said, right? Yeah, so, so you can focus on one small thing and go as deep. Yeah, triple down on one thing and instead of being uh, half pregnant on uh, on nine, right? So, so it's like just focus on one thing, right? Go deep, go as deep as possible into this thing, right? Or you can do the other way, right? I want to write multiple, so, so I can I can understand multiple architectures. I can understand these things, so I can be like a little higher level. Right? I I have more opportunities this way instead of just being the iOS developer. I can be the front end developer because I do this this way, and I can like manage a team of different teams. Uh, like uh, the iOS team, Android team, and the web team, and I can I can start thinking about all that stuff. But the key here, right, in ending the video, right, the key is just write more software. That's it's a very simple thing, right? So I'm not, I'm not saying that I, I am not doing it as often as I should, really. So I, I should I should go back and write more software. But my my nature of the job is like. My current job doesn't allow me to do that. I don't have the time to, uh, as I become a product owner, I don't have the time to be hands-on and write more code. That's why I do, I, and I have all this thing after work. I do this YouTube channel. I, wrote, I write books. I, I do so many things, right? I have a family, so I try to d divide my time. But uh, I wish that but my job, I can code more and be hands-on more, more on on, on things and I do it sometimes like if I want if I want to learn something and, and uh, if I want to learn new technology right I can uh, I would pick something that I absolutely need I want to build something using this new technology that helps my work right so that's what I what, what I did essentially right and, and my, my current work like we, we build the software on a daily basis Right, and I built this API that aggregates all these builds and show them in the REST API. Very nice, simple uh, uh, interface, right? And then consume it using uh, uh, the the API, the JavaScript API, essentially. So the back end was Node.js and the front end was uh, essentially again JavaScript and consume that. And and it was like a very, very simple web page that people can go to and see the builds and see this new stuff, essentially. So that's. That's essentially uh, my advice, guys. Be a better software engineer. Write more software. Write silly software. Write stupid software. Write any software. Right? Write software that is already there. Write it again. Right? Because by writing it, if, you, if you're starting up, if you really want to be a soft, better software engineer, and you're starting, still starting learning more, more and more, you have just to sit down and write. You will become better and better with every line of code that you write. But if you skipped reading books, nothing wrong with that, right? You will lose this hands-on experience, and you will not be like uh, you will not learn from the actual, right? Uh, as I say, battle. You will not be battle tested, right? You'll just be like theoretical. You just you can talk about things, but you you didn't actually face problems. You face when you code, you face things that you never think that you that, that they exist, right? Like writing to a single file, how complex is this and how what kind of problems you can run into, right? If you talk about, huh, take this information, write it to disk. Simple. No. You have to check for locks. What if the file is already open, right? What if the file doesn't exist? What if this was deleted? What very simple things, right? What if the if the file format changes at the back end, right? The, the disk itself it changed the file system itself. What what do you do? How do you write it? Uh, UTF-8 versus ASCII. So all these simple simple things we will never run into it unless you actually be hands on and write software, basic software, simple software, even if it exists. Go and write it again and again and again. Make mistakes, make as many mistakes as you want. Be wrong, write wrong software, write in performance software, because the best way to write performance software is to write 
A software. If they want. Can you say A software? I don't think you can. All right, guys. Uh, that's all for me today. Uh, if you like this channel, if you like this video, give it a like and hit the subscribe button. That means a lot, guys. And uh, check out the other content on this channel. We talk about software engineering and other stuff. And we have thousands of tutorials. Come on, guys. All right, guys. That's all for me today. I'll see you in the next one. Stay awesome.